ഹലോ ഗായ്സ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു മൈ ചാനൽ സെൽഷ കെയർസ് ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ടേക്ക് യു ടു സഹോദൻ അയ്യപ്പൻസ് ഹൗസ് ആസ് യു കെൻ സി വി ആർ എൻട്രിങ് സഹോദൻ അയ്യപ്പൻസ് ഹൗസ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ചെറായി സോ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ബ്രീഫ് അബൌട്ട് സഹോദൻ അയ്യപ്പൻ ആൻഡ് ഹിസ് ഹൗസ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ ബിറ്റ് അബൌട്ട് ഹിം ആൻഡ് ഹിസ് ഹൗസ് ആൻഡ് right now this house is located in chirai where he was born brought up his wife is married to and you can see a lot of traditional stuff related to it and one of the two things i would say that i like about this house is that one it has a you know nalamuttam which is like a roundabout in the middle of the house and next is that um the house is very traditional and the people who are maintaining it has kept it the way it is which is the government for sure so this is very beautifully done mm, and other than this there is a library which is attached to this house i mean it is not attached but a bit far away from it and you can so it's like in a compound you get sahonaipan's house so then you have a river flowing by and one pond a hall for marriages and a library a library in which you can see a lot of books related to sahu nayapan karl marx etc you can get a membership and then you can also go and study do whatever you want to do take the book and read it give it back after two days and you can ask the people who are sitting there about it also you can check about this in the wikipedia page or in the internet other than this i have heard that there's a boat service from the river which is in front of the sahu nayapan's house and the boat is going to take you to seven to eight places which covers a lot of places like it is a part of musri's heritage um so you can book the boat it will be um 16 16 people 18 people eight people so it's like a bundle a couple of actually projects you got so you can take one and you can go with people or otherwise you can call for a taxi it's like a boat taxi so the price might be a bit expensive but you can go with your family like six members four members and you can go and it will take like a full whole day so yeah so you you'll be going at like i think 9:30 in the morning and coming back at 4 you're going to manage your lunch other than that the entire you will be seeing the entire places like it's like seven points so you're going to start from a point a b c d e f g and each point the boat will be parking and you're going to get outside explore the places so each place is different synagogue jewish temple um, palace so in that point one point is sahur nayapan's house which people have preserved i mean government had preserved and and a garden is attached and his um traditions his uh, things about him in a library is also preserved so people can go and watch it and i think this is a must watch place so yeah now i'm going to brief you about sahodna ayappan so let's know a little bit about him sahodna ayappan um is actually a really unique person i mean obviously a lot of people don't know about him but yeah in this era i think we should know about him um so yeah here i go sahona ayappan was a social reformer thinker rationalist journalist and a politician from kerala india a vocal follower of sri narayana guru he was associated with a number of events related to the kerala reformation movement and was the organizer organizer of misra bojan in chirai in 1917 he founded sahodra sangam and the journal sahodran and was the founder editor of the magazine yuktivadi um you can also see a mishra bojanam artwork uh, near to his house which is kept by an artist but yeah it's not inside his house it's near to his house in the same uh, compound which i was talking about so so yeah here we go So Ayappan was born on August 22, 1889 in Chirai Vaipun Island in Ernakulam district of the present day South Indian state of Kerala in an aristocratic era family of Ayurvedic physicians. He is the youngest of the nine children. His father died when he was a child and was brought up under the guidance of his elder brother Achyudan Vaidya. 
his early education was in the traditional way and he learned sanskrit from the local teachers such as mattapilla kannu ashan and kochu pilla ashan after which he started the formal education at a local school started by nidiyara acha baba achan baba subsequently he studied at schools in pallipuram and north paravur before passing the pre degree course from malabar christian college to join maharaja's college tiruvanthapuram the present day university college for his undergraduate studies in between there was a short break in studies due to his health issues during this period he had the opportunity to interact with narayana guru and it was guru who arranged for ayappan stay in tiruvanthapuram with the noted poet kumaranashan after completing his graduate studies in 1916 he returned to his native place to start his career started as a teacher at drama verma union high school charai but he could not carry his social and political life along with the teaching career and he quit the job later he studied law but that was a futile attempt as he failed in the fl examination Ayappan was married to Parvati and the couple had a daughter Aisha and a son Sugathan. He died on March 6, 1968 at the age of 78 following a cardiac arrest. So this is a brief about him and I would say that yeah many people don't know him but yeah you have to read and know a lot about him and he was a part of abolishing intestability I mean he took initiation and it didn't happen a few years back as you know it does a decade back so yeah at that time so untouchability was prominent and um when i told there was a artistic you know sculpture of mishra bojram kept out, outside his house what i meant was that he accumulated a lot of people i mean it mean, meant all the community all the people from the community higher caste lower caste he doesn't ma- it doesn't matter for him he used to sit with everyone and eat so he considered everyone every human soul as same which is very cool actually and it's very fascinating at that point of time he was such an intelligent man with a lot of perspective of his own i think many people when they are born into a community or they are born into a system you don't think out of the box you keep on thinking what your parents your society your teachers etc etc have told you about but this man was actually a role model where he thought out of the box so yeah you can say he really did that and that is the reason he became a part of the history a very important part of the history and the reason why government has preserved his house um made a library um and also he his house is a main point uh in the mysteries heritage program so yeah and you can see the house right now and so in the house there is banners kept in between uh and it has english and malayalam contents written on each part and you can see one room in which it is written in malayalam um word the sahodana ayappan was born sahodana ayappan de janma stalam a janma room uh, so yeah that is the room where he was born um and other than that the nalamittam is also very beautiful to see um other than that there is a hall uh, nearby in the same compound where you can attend they i mean the hall is rented for doing marriages and other you know reception functions etc which is beautiful so it's come come as a package and it will be a worth while place to visit and you can visit these places uh you can individually visit this place if you want to as i told this is in chirai and anyone knows about sahodanaip and smaragam when you ask for sahodanaip and smaragam they'll take you to this place and you can see his house but i would say other than this uh it is also a part of musris heritage program so yeah so you anyways if you're going to take a ticket from a point a you're going to see this place in between and you're going to complete it the whole 8 to 7 7 to 8 places and also in the library there is a video in the upper section i think it's the first or second floor where you can go and watch the video there's a 
girl named Suleika. Right now she was working when I went and she was explaining to me about him and then she just put on the video. Uh, and you can listen, artist has played about him. So you can see what has happened at that point of time in a visual form. Right now artists have done it and given life to it so you can see it's like an eight video uh, and each video contains 10 minutes so you're going to you're going to watch it if you like it and then also that place is also filled with his photos and also a lot of write-ups and banners which writes about him and his life so you can read it uh, and watch the video yeah so that is all about this video i hope you enjoyed it and keep watching and watch the whole house um yeah thank you for watching